Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace be multiplied. Today we want to look at a few prophecies or predictions that were fulfilled. Many of them, many of the prophecies concerning Christ and his crucifixion was fulfilled in a single day. So as we look at some of the prophecies fulfilled in one day, we see that the Bible tells us in Psalm 41 and verse 9, fulfilled in Matthew 10 and verse 4, that he would be betrayed by a friend. We were all, it was also predicted he would be sold for 30 pieces of silver. Predicted in Zechariah 12, 11 and 12, fulfilled in St. Matthew 26 and verse 15. We also know it was prophesied uh, that this was uh, um, fulfilled in St. Matthew 27 verse 5, predicted or prophesied in Zechariah 11 and 13, the money would be thrown down in God's house. We also see in Zechariah 11 13, fulfilled in St. Matthew 27 and 7, it was the price uh, that was given for the potter's field. He was forsaken by his disciples, prophesied in Zechariah 13 and 7, fulfilled in St. Mark 14 and verse 50. He was accused by false witnesses, predicted in Psalm 15 and 11, fulfilled in St. Matthew 26, uh, 59 through 60. We also see that he was mocked. And we see that in Psalm 22, 7 and 8, fulfilled in St. Matthew 27, verse 29. He fell under the cross. Um, Psalm 109, 24 through 25, fulfilled also in St. John 19, 17. His hands and feet were pierced, uh, predicted in Psalm 22, 16. Fulfilled in Luke 23, 33. Crucified with thieves. We see that in Isaiah uh, 53, verse 12. Fulfilled in St. Matthew 27, verse 38. And so there is so much, as the Bible tells us about him, that was uh, fulfilled. Especially when we turn to the book of Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 52 from verse 13 to Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 12. So many things, all things actually written there were fulfilled. Because it tells us that many were astonished at the horrible sufferings of the Messiah. And we see that in Isaiah 52 and verse 14. The Bible tells us he was marred more than that of any other person and his form more than the sons of men. He was unrecognizable. The Bible tells us that he grew up as a child, as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. Isaiah 50 3 and verse 2. In his sufferings, he had no beauty of form and no external glory to attract mankind to him. He was despised and rejected of men, seen and fulfilled in Isaiah 53 and verse 3. He was a man of suffering. He was fully acquainted with grief. The Bible tells us that men hid their faces from him when they saw his agony. He was smitten. Who was he smitten by? God. For the divine judgment of God was upon him. Fulfilled in Isaiah 53 and verse 4. He was slain for our transgressions. We see that being fulfilled, he was crushed for our iniquities. The 
punishment that he secured for our peace fell upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We see that being fulfilled also in the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Bible tells us that prophesied that the Lord laid upon him the iniquity of us all. We see that being fulfilled in Isaiah 53 and verse 6. He was maltreated. He was afflicted. The Bible says he was quiet. He was silent. He didn't open his mouth. We see that being fulfilled also in Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 7. He was like a lamb brought to be slaughtered. And we saw that uh, being fulfilled again in Isaiah chapter 53. He was taken from prison and from judgment. The Bible says, who can describe the wickedness of this generation? In fulfilled in Isaiah 53 and verse 8. He was cut off from the land of the living. Treated with violence. Again, we saw that in Isaiah chapter 53 being fulfilled. He was slain for the transgression that the people should have. He was slain in our place and in our stead. Being fulfilled again in the chapter it was written, Isaiah 53. Again, we also see in verse 9. The Bible says he was buried in a grave with felons or criminals. In Isaiah 53 and verse 9, may I do a little explanation. He was appointed such a place by the Jews. In Jewish seminaries, um, cemeteries, sorry, criminals were buried in a separate place from the other people. So, before they even crucify him, he was assigned a spot with those criminals with whom he would be buried. But the Bible also tells us that he was placed in a rich man's tomb instead and now become associated with the rich in his death. Because the word of God must remain true. And the word of God must be fulfilled. So even though he was appointed a place to be buried with the common or the criminals, he was buried with the rich. So he became associated with them in his death. Remember when he walked up on the face of the earth and he had his ministry, he was mainly associated with the poor. He identified with them. Although he had done no wrong or no violence, and no deceit was found in his mouth, the Bible says it pleased God to bruise him for the sake of the saving of lost humanity. That was fulfilled also in Isaiah 53 and verse 10. The Bible says he was put to grief. His soul was made an offering for sin. It was fulfilled on that day in Isaiah 53. The Messiah would have many followers as a result of his suffering. That too was fulfilled. The Messiah, we see him, that is said of him, even though he died, he would live eternally. The Bible says is days would be prolonged and sure enough his days are prolonged because God raised him from the dead the Bible also tells us and being fulfilled the pleasure of the Lord would prosper in his hands the Bible says he would see the results of his suffering and God would be satisfied. And we see that again in verse number 11. It also tells us that by his knowledge, 
God's righteousness for that which is priceless he would have bought for lost humanity those who are suffering and all of these things one by one we see them being fulfilled we know that the promises of God they are yes and they are amen and what God says he will do he will do and surely it would come to pass so we say by his knowledge God's righteous servant would make many sinners righteous because he would bear their iniquities fulfilled in verse 11 Jehovah was to divide him as a portion or to class him among the great Isaiah 53 and verse 12 and that was fulfilled also the Messiah would divide the spoils of the strong he poured out his soul unto death and that is the whole reason why he came and we see that again being fulfilled in Isaiah chapter 53 he was numbered with the transgressors he bore the sins of many and he made intercession for the transgressors so we can see all in all so many different prophecies about him whether it's David in the psalm uh, whether it is Zechariah whether it is Isaiah all these things concerning the Messiah was fulfilled on the day that he was crucified God bless you Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, also comment. And please continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.